If I had to walk this path again, would it be the same? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Season 3 World Championship Final! The hardest moments are the ones where you kind of realize that you're not doing well or that you should change something. I am here at the World Finals in front of this incredible crowd in the incredible stadium. I suffer from very heavy insomnia, so I would just be on zero hours of sleep and that's really difficult like it's it's almost impossible to explain if you haven't experienced it yourself life is just very hectic there's a lot of travel there's long show days there's a lot that has to be done you could get a really horrible phone call an hour before a show but the show must go on my name is Shox. I am a professional esports host mainly covering League of Legends esports and well hosting anything you have a need for basically when I started out, I feel like I just saw the promise in the industry at that point in 2011, 2012, seeing those tournaments, the way they were held and how the fans as well had such an aura and such an atmosphere, which really reminded me of traditional sports and that in combination with me being a gamer myself, I just saw an opportunity and I jumped in it and I never let go. It takes 10 years to be an overnight success and that is exactly how I feel about my career path and how long it took me to be at the top of my game and I think the most important thing has always been I never took anything for granted because it's very easy to be complacent when you hit certain goals early on in your career. Complacency is absolutely the killer of a successful trajectory in any business. My job is to tell the stories of your favorite competitors in a beautiful, entertaining, informative, honest, and objective way. And as far as my mission goes, I hope that I can be someone who people can look up to if they wanna pursue a path in esports. And I wanna be someone who, to a certain level, can also be approachable and I don't only want to show the glamorous aspect of everything because I feel like it's important to show people that that isn't real um, and that there is a lot that someone can struggle with but you can still make meaningful content and uh, be able to walk your own career path. A typical week for me differs from week to week. So let's say I have LEC on the weekend. Usually our prep day with the production crew is on the Wednesday. So we'd go into the office on Wednesday and we just brainstorm, work, feedback, all that stuff in order to get the show ready for the weekend. And since I'm a freelancer, the rest of the week, it kind of depends. But my work schedule is very, very irregular. Maybe I had a period recently in summer where I worked almost three and a half weeks straight with no days off. But then I also took three weeks holiday. So I make sure or I try to balance it out for sure, but it's not normal. I, I can already hear my family's like, you're going on holiday for three weeks. But yes, but I was, I was working for three weeks nonstop as well. You know, it's, it's different. I live on the belief that when the opportunity presents itself or when I need to make a change, that I have the right instincts, that I will recognize that moment and I will take that path, even if it's difficult. Going freelance in 2019 is a good example because people had been telling me that for a long, long time before that and how it would be so much better for me and how I would have different opportunities and more to learn. I said, I completely agree with you, but it, it doesn't feel like it's the right time for me to do it. If you have that, and I, I, I hope that's something that that you can foster because everybody has it within themselves, but you have to feel confident enough to rely on it. Follow your own path and do what, what feels like the right thing that is true to yourself. You have to be really, really in love with what you're doing for sure. Fans make the best content because they're passionate about it. I think it's important to convey that enthusiasm about the thing that you're covering. Teamwork is extremely important. Working in tandem with not only everyone behind the scenes, but also your colleagues on air, working on that relationship to make sure that it's all smooth. When you are on air, be very collaborative and be willing to challenge yourself and to evolve is very important because we work in an industry 
industry that's evolving at light speed. There's always something happening, you know, be adaptive and willing to change and willing to examine kind of your own work and if, if anything should evolve. Well, obviously sitting here, it's really easy to tell her that it's all gonna be okay. <laughs> um, and if, if I was able to do that, if time worked like that, it would have helped me a lot. But I think that realization is what's going to, if I was asked that question again in 10 years, make me say the same thing. And is that I know that I can trust all my instincts and my abilities and my, my work ethic and hopefully my kindness and my openness to learning things and to learning and knowing people. And that's gonna get you very, very far in your career and in life. Um, so if you can hear me, pass me, you got this. When it comes to the future of my role and the industry, only time will tell. I think the key is that in the last 12 years, I've seen my role and our industry evolve several times into different things where totally different skills or a totally different approach was necessary and you always have to be open for it. And I think the rise of co-streaming and kind of the, the recognition that Maybe our community wants to be a fan and watch broadcasts in a different way than our community did five years ago, but at the same moment, there are still those people that have been there since literally 2012 that really appreciate the way we do things. Continuously make sure we show that this is an industry where absolutely everyone is welcome and you can learn, evolve, follow your own path if you want to, if you apply yourself, but absolutely everyone, everyone is welcome to take a stab at and work at this esports thing with us.